So before these, these guys are setting up their arcade sticks, and, okay, James stands up to give F champ. Of course, nothing but respect. Nothing but players. respect. To them. I mean. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a rep major rematch! Make some noise! Let's go! So how do you think things are going to change this time around? Do you think that F champ of course he's a tournament has learned I mean, from his previous match? F champ has been is a I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure between these two, we have to agree that Champ has so much more experience than James. Of course, multiple but despite that, topics, you know, multiple evolution topics, James multiple here games. did show that despite that experience, gap in experience, he was able to beat F Champ in Rev Major. And it's nice to beat, but this might be a different story. Let's see if F Champ has learned. From that previous tournament against James. So nice to right. It's going to be Colleen versus Dawson. Oh, it's gonna be Akuma. He's actually oh, Akuma! I know. Oh wow. Interesting. Let's see what what kind of style he different from TV. I okay. did not expect this at all. Well uh, whenever he plays casual with him, he's actually with um switching between the characters. Mainly Akuma, Sagat, and uh, of yeah. course it's this Dawson. But remember. That James fought Don so many times, I'm sure he's very Countless familiar with the match. Online. So it's on F champ, I would say. Wow, there it goes. I think the main challenge is the switches because Don vs. Colleen is a very, very difficult matchup. I agree. Of course, he can always. So you think that this matchup is in favor of Akuma? Well, I mean, normally Akuma has met good matchups all across the board, but right. like, he's a top tier character. Oh wow, Reset. look at the setup! Nice block from F Champ! I would have blocked that at all, but this is gonna kill. First round, game number one goes to F Champ. Alright, things are looking good so far for F Champ. This, this decision changed into F Champ. Into Akuma, I mean. He's gonna pay off, I think. But of course, never count James up. Nice whip punch there from James, cancelling to the EX Parabello and goes into the front, the corner, not looking good for Echa. Gets himself out of the corner. Nice crush counter from Sweet. Oh, the guts on this kid. Just goes for the EX parry. That's a scary thing about James. He's really on point whenever it comes to those parries. I know. And you know, this parry is like the normal parry that we use where it has mid parry, air, mid, and most. So you really have yeah, to know where it's coming from. And he chooses the perfect. And look at the damage from that. There's so much damage, it's like almost 1 CA damage from the, <laughs> from the DX parry. It's just one part, man. Especially if you have some character like Kuma, that's really low health. Yeah. That's plus. Nice jump in, but doesn't get much out of that. Wow, he able to avoid those missiles. Great count, it's confirmed there. Oh wow, just goes for the teleport. James wasn't able to punish that. Okay, activate speed trigger. All right, here we go. Here's where Akuma shines. Not punching at all. That was three throws in a row. Okay, but James able to get out from that one. He still has speed trigger on hand, but nice anti-air there. He's, go anyway. He's going, to dance. Again, going down to the wire. Oh wow! One more hit! There you go! A great crouch mid punch there. That's literally I, oh, I have no words right now. That could have gone either way, but James just went for the dash and went for crouching Round medium one. at that point. I guess F Trump wasn't expecting that. What decides to stick it out with the Puma? Okay. Nice, with punish there. Cancel the Parabellum. Okay. Oh, no, cancel to the Tatsu. Of course, very risky to cancel that. Alright. It's going to be a setup after. And just goes for the throw. But keeps the corner setup here. 
course, against the Kuma, you need to maximize the damage as well. Yes. And again, F Chan going for it. Nice reaction there from James. For seeing that the air release. That just goes for everything. That just goes for everything. Okay. I think James was expecting a throw at the time. Yes, at but that point, you just have round to two. choose. Yes. Well, Fortunately for James, that wasn't wrong guess at the time. Okay. M Champ wins the round. And stays in front, all was able to confirm up of that. And James punches him heavily. Gets a corner. Just keeps pressing button. Gets the air throw there. Alright. Okay, plus of that. Oh, should have thrown him just front. Okay, crush counter there from James. Oh wow, that was not what M Champ wanted. But unfortunately for James, no punish. Again, goes for the low and catches M Champ. Still getting the joke right after that. Final round. Now oh, these players are really playing their hearts out each game down to the last round this time. Alright, nice air to air there from James. Cross what right happened? What just happened there? That's crazy. That right, reminds me of the gun from Street Fighter 4. That's crazy. And just like that, James has almost even out his life. Deficit. And again, goes for the goes through almost anything that attack from James. Oh wow! Okay, no more V trigger there from Chad. Okay, he's down to the wire again. We've seen this before. And standing light kick gets F Champ in the end. Just like game number one. Wow. Alright, so the question now here is is F Champ gonna stick it out? We'll see, we'll see. With Akuma. Or is he confident enough to go against James? This goes card card to select screen. You know, this is it just buying time? Yes, it's probably buying time. But let's see, let's see. He's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. He has to win now three games. This is again, guys. This is loser side. He has to win three games in a row. Of course, we've seen M Champ go through worse. Probably be fired with other games. Yes, yes, yes. This has been this, this, been this situation so many times. And locked in. Dalsim using V Trigger too. Now he has to use Dalsim for the rest of this match if he wants to win. It's gonna be against very James. difficult for M Champ, but if there's anyone who can pull it off, it is him. But then again, James has so much experience against Dalsim as well, we know this. So many years of experience. Round one. Fight! Alright, this is game number four. Of course, the training partners at home are Dalsim against boss players. So if you've noticed, F-Chump did not do any anti-air, but Pauline did the neutral chunk using. Roundhouse because of that so much high priority than jumping. Sometimes you actually beat Brady's couch and make money. Right. Sometimes you just block it. Alright. Right now, does him have the damage of that. Oh, just a crush counter. crush counter there, but no follow up. This is gonna. And goes for the throw. This is not gonna kill, I think. Oh no, one last hit. Now just goes for the throw. This is match point for James. One more round is all it takes. Round two. This game. Nice fire again. Wow. You wouldn't be able to wrap with it unless you were anticipating it at the start. But look at the damage to Dalsim. It's a quarter of his so life. Red went down the drain just like that. It is gonna, you know, it's gonna keep F Champ thinking that maybe I can't do that move anymore. This is why I'm saying it's a really difficult matchup for him. I'm 
again, this is Ice versus Fire, and now F Chan releases his CA just to even the things out. But let's see, this is punishable. Oh, so what? From that back mid kick was a little too far. Nice challenge there from F Chan. Alright. Oh, wow! Well, let's see it! Let's this see. is it! This is it! Oh and my is it. god! Game 6 is 3 0 against Philippine Champ. 3 games straight from PBE Champs. Of course.